Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are gonna talk about the best toys for young babies. And when I say young babies, I'm talking zero to six months old. If you're new to my channel, I post videos every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday about mom-related topics, mom vlogs, family vlogs, lifestyle videos, all of that kind of stuff. So if that's something that interests you, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Okay, so I am a mom of two. I have a little boy who is two and a half, and then I have Addison here who is five months old. And so during this time of being a mom, I have learned about some of the best toys that I feel like my kids liked the best. Brody is napping, and or trying to take a nap, and he is kind of whining and talking on the monitor, so that's what that is. Okay, so if you're a first time mom, or if you're about to have your first baby, you may think, hmm, I don't really need that many toys when they're a baby, they just kind of lay there, they don't use toys that much, and I would have thought the same thing too. But my best friend had a baby shortly before I had my son Brody and she, when she registered for her baby, she like didn't <coughs> register for any toys, didn't really get any toys and then quickly figured out she needed toys. So when I registered for my, for my first baby shower, I made sure to put some good toys on there. And so the way that I did it was I picked some of the things that my friends had told me about that I felt like that they felt were the best toys for their young babies and then I also put things on there that were a little bit older, like six to nine month age, um, because that way I could just kind of keep those away and then as they hit the age, I could pull out some toys and then that kind of covered me for a little while. So um, I'm gonna start with the small things. I've got a big basket here of tons of little toys and then I'll show you a few bigger items too. Okay, so the first things we're gonna talk about are this brand this is like the brand is like i think it's called oball yes okay so these were brodies when he was little um and see addison likes them too so these are great for young babies because they can hold them because of the holes in the balls they can actually pick them up when they are young and she is teething she has two teeth and so she chews on everything so she loves things like this she can grab and they just go straight to her mouth. This little car is cool because it's got like rattles in the wheels and it, you know, it actually like moves around and that kind of stuff. So Brody loved these when he was little. Um, and then these were kind of his, Addison's inherited this one, but you know, she likes to chew on these. So I feel like these are a definite must for um, if you have, fix your bow if you have a young baby. But now that, so Brody is two and a half, like I said. So since then, they've obviously come out with new things. So Addison, this is her ball. So it's similar to these in that it's got the bigger holes and things like that. But this one, I feel like if I had to choose out of all of these, I would definitely pick this one. And um, this is a different brand. It's, I don't even know. It's spelled O-G-O -O sport and it says Bolly B-O-L-L-I on it. I'm not sure which is the brand or which is the name of it. I don't know. But anyway, this ball is amazing. She loves it. This is like a total win toy. So if you're thinking about any of these like little ones, I would definitely grab this. They have them in different colors and it's just, like I said, so easy to grab. They can chew on it. They can just hold it really well. It squishes like this is one of the best toys for little babies. And this is like, I, I wanna say this is a zero plus toy, like zero month plus. So uh, I think she got, Santa brought her this. I think that, um, I wanna say, how old was she at Christmas? Four months old, <laughs> a month ago, uh, something like that. So anyways, this is a really, really good toy. If you're enjoying this video so far or finding it helpful, please hit that thumbs up button. Okay, so Addison obviously likes the football, so she's just gonna keep playing with that. Okay, so the next thing that I absolutely am a huge fan of is this little elephant. The brand is Bright Starts. And I've talked about this on my channel before, but this is an amazing toy for young babies. See, she loves it. So it's got this little crinkle thing in here so she, they can crinkle it, and it's so thin. 
that that's the big thing is with young babies they can't grab really big toys yet so it's really really thin so it's not big like a stuffed animal and she can just hold it crinkle it the feet are little teethers and it's just so soft and cute i know they have this in other animals i've seen a monkey and i've also seen a giraffe um, but I just think the elephant's really cute. And Brody had this toy as well, and this was one of his favorites. For a long time, uh, this was in his car seat with him every time we went somewhere, and he would just crinkle it and play with it in the back seat. And um, I I absolutely think every baby needs this little, this little animal. It's so cute. Okay, so she loves, Addison loves this one right now. All right, next, um, I'm going to talk about a couple little teethers. So both of my kids got teeth really young. So if your kids aren't teething, if your babies aren't teething yet, then maybe this won't be, um, I don't know, helpful to you. I guess maybe it would be later, but there's still a little fun toys to play with. But Brody, like I said, Brody got teeth really early. So did Addison. She already has two teeth at five months old. So um, these are some of Brody's favorites. So this, these little keys are so fun like whether your babies are teething or not, I think these are really fun because she likes because they jingle and she can just grab them, grab the little ring and hang on to it. But yeah, of course, everything goes right to her mouth. Um, but these, this is that, I guess, Nubi brand or something like that. I don't even know how to say it. N-U-B-Y. All these baby names are kind of funky, so you never know how to pronounce them. But um, you can stick these in the fridge and get them cold to help with teething and all of that. But I never really even did that that often. They just like to play with them and chew on them. And what's so funny is Brody, now even at his age, at two and a half, he has a truck that he gets in and drives all the time and he grabs these keys and this is how he pretends to start his truck. So, hey, really versatile. From teething to to two and almost three years old, still playing with them. So, that's a win. Here you go. <laughs> Here you go. Okay, um, these are also good. You can stick these in the fridge and the freezer as well. Uh, what I'm trying to, what brand is this? I don't even know, but I will link all of this stuff below. Okay, this is also the newbie brand. This was one of Brody's absolute favorites. It's kind of funny because I didn't think it would be. This was a gift, and he loved this. It has like kind of I don't even know like I thought of like just interesting texture there and just all kinds of different textures and so he loved to chew on this one this was a really really good teether and i will say everybody raves about the sophie giraffe sophie the giraffe thing it's 25 dollars. brody had one i've got it it's right down there and he could have cared less about it. I would try to give it to him and just didn't interest him. Whereas you can get these fun little jingly ones. These are like three or four dollars or five dollars. I don't know. And I just feel like they're way, they're way better. So I'm more of a fan of these than the Sophie the giraffe. And for a while there was a bunch of talk about the Sophie having like mold getting stuck inside. I don't know. So not into that as much, but okay. Then Addison's, some of her favorite little teethers are this one that she got for Christmas. I think this is so cute. It's got a little flower charm and a little butterfly charm. This is also that newbie brand. They've got like, this has that same texture on it as the one I just showed you of Brody's. And so she loves this. This one is great. She chews on this all the time. It's like a cute little bracelet. So there's some good options here for boys or girls. But this is a really, really good one. And even if they're not teething, like I said, it's just fun to kind of jingle, like dangle these things over them while they're young like this and she can reach and grab for it and all that. Okay, and then this one, ah, I got this at my sprinkle for Addison. It is a cute little cactus teether. It's by the brand Itsy Ritzy. And honestly, more than anything, I just think it's super cute. But she does, last night she was like, killing it. She loved this one. She was just chewing on it like crazy. So I think that's a really good one. See? <laughs> okay. All right. Um, oh, and one last little teether. I'll show you. This one is so cute. I had to get this. 
This was, I, I picked this up before she was born and she hasn't really used this one yet, but at some point she will. But this is, falls into the young baby category because I feel like here in a month or so, she's really gonna be like into this. But it does kind of rattle. It's got a cute little heart thing as if she was drinking a latte. It looks like Starbucks. It is Fisher Price brand and it is technically a teether and it's just really cute and fun. Oh, well, there she goes. Having your cup of coffee? Yeah, girl. <laughs> Okay, moving on. So when Brody was little, or a baby, like I said, I didn't really think babies needed toys. I didn't know that much about it all. So um, he had a lot of little toys, like the elephant I said, or like the football, but nothing that lit up, nothing that made music sounds, sounds or noises. And I remember seeing one of my friends had this cute little thing that played songs and lit up for her baby that was the same age as Brody. And she would hold it over her when he was laying, or over her baby when she was laying on a blanket. And she loved it. And I was like, man, I totally missed the boat on that. Like I should have got him something fun like that. So with Addison, she got this for Christmas. And it is like a little musical bunny. I just think it's so cute. But it lights up, it rattles, and it plays songs. Oh no, she spit up. Yuck, yuck. Okay, so, and it plays little songs. Yeah, here you go. And this is a total score of a toy. She loves this little toy. She loves the lights and the sounds. I'll turn it off. <laughs> and so, I think that you need something like that for your young baby that you can just hold over them. It kind of stimulates them a little bit when they're awake and they can play with entertaining with the colors and the sounds and all that kind of stuff. Here. You want, you want your ball? Do you want the ball? What do you want? You want the bunny. Okay. So definitely get some kind. There's like, I want to say like the baby Einstein's or little Einstein's brand or something like that has a lot of little things like that that light up. And I think they're just really, really good for young babies. Okay. Moving on. This is one of Addison's favorite little toys as well. It's a little Minnie Mouse rattle. This was literally $2 at Walmart. I picked this up before she was born and she just... I'll shake it and she just watches it. Yeah. Don't you? But usually like when she's laying on her blanket, I can just do this and she'll just smile so big. She really, really likes it. She can reach for it. She can kind of hold it, fall out of her hands every now and then. But I know like at Walmart, they had, they had a cute little turquoise elephant. They had some other little animals too, but we are into the Disney thing here. Brody is absolutely obsessed with Mickey Mouse, so she needs a little mini rattle. Yeah. All right, this is the other really good toy for babies. It's like this rainmaker thing. So what's so funny is so many of these toys are great for young babies, but like my son Brody still will grab this out of her little basket and play with it like it's just fun and so a lot of these toys that you can get will really stick with them for a long long time or they'll be like young baby toys and then as they get older they'll learn how to do um actually what it was purposed for and i'll explain that more in a second but this is just a really good one too I'm kind of entertaining yeah. okay this was one of brody's this is a little hammer. It lights up. Music time. It plays songs, all that kind of stuff. So along the lines of like the little musical bunny, I feel like this is a really good for a boy um, that that does counting. It's learning time. Learning time. And plays music and it's just really fun. Two, three, four, so they can just press it or they can actually hammer with it as they get older and literally Along, like I just said, this sits on Brody's workbench that he has, and he still plays with this hammer today. So, not just for young babies, even though they technically say those ages on them. Okay, you want the ball? What do you want? Okay, so that's all in that little basket. Now I'm going to move on to a couple of bigger items. All right, 
So this is one of the first things I'm gonna talk about. This is that Baby Einstein brand, okay, that I was just referencing. This, I wanna say, is three months plus. Brody got this for, um, for Christmas when he was six months old. And it was his first Christmas. It's got different like sound volume levels and all the buttons, a rattle. The black and white is really good for their eyesight. In the simulations, you can chew on it. You can hit the buttons, it lights up here. Like whenever I saw that friend I was talking about that had the cute little light up thing, um, this quickly became something that he like needed. And I play guitar, Steven plays guitar, so we felt like the guitar was appropriate. But they do have this in like a piano version, they have it in other um, like instruments or whatever, whatever you're into. But this is one of, this was literally one of Brody's absolute fav favorite toys. And to this day, um, Brody still plays with this all the time. Like the other day he was playing it, just going crazy strumming and screaming. So I, I truly feel like this is a must. Addison loves it. Brody loves to show her how to play the guitar on it. So um, anything like this that kind of like lights up, you need toys for your babies. Even though they're just kind of like laying there on a blanket when they're three months old, they still like this kind of stuff. Okay, moving right along. This is like the obvious little toy that everyone has. They used to be plastic, they still sell the plastic ones. These are soft and plush. And Brody, this was one of the things I registered for for my baby shower with Brody. And they kind of crinkle, some of them, let's see. Some of them crinkle, make noises, which is fun. Let's see, she can hold this and of course choose on it. But what's so nuts is like Brody at this point is like can stack them in the right order. It teaches, he, we talk about the colors, like all this kind of stuff. Like over the last two and a half years of his life, he has played with this a lot. And when he was like really little, like her on a blanket, learning to crawl, things like that, he would always crawl to these. I would like lay out the little rings and he would crawl towards them. So I feel like this is one of those old school toys that we all had as babies that is still a really good toy to this day. And um, Brody always really liked it. So, yeah. Okay, along those same lines of kind of old school great toys is this little bucket of blocks. Brody got this for Christmas when he was six months old. And I think that like the blocks at this point are a little young for her. I'm not sure what the age on these are. Like I wanna say it's probably six months plus. Like she, if I laid these out for her, she probably, she wouldn't really do anything with them. But if you have like a little bit six month old baby or things like that, it's really, really good. Like Brody would crawl to these all the time. Same thing as the rings. Like I don't know what it was about these blocks. I'd set them out and he would like, crawl over to them and like attack them. He was always into this. And and now that he's like two, I keep saying his age because I'm just like referencing, that he, he can do all the shapes really well and all that kind of stuff. But like a six month old isn't gonna be able to necessarily figure out the shapes. So this is one of those toys, like a lot of these, that will really grow with them. Like so many of these things, like I'm a very practical person, so I don't buy a bunch of stuff that we don't need. So what's great is like when you get toys like this when they're young, that they can just kind of chew on the blocks or play with them or things like that. But then when they're two years old, they're gonna still enjoy talking about the shapes and the names of the shapes and being able to actually put them in the right slots and the colors and all of that good stuff. So. Again, an oldie, but a goodie. <laughs> All right, this is one more Brody's, and I'm gonna end on Addison's favorite little toy. This is, uh, I don't remember what age this is. This is probably six months plus, so the brand is VTech. It's a little steering wheel. Brody also got this for Christmas when he was six months old and he still plays with it now. He's obsessed with cars and driving. He still, so he'll like drive the steering wheel. But so many of these VTech toys and a lot of the learning toys are like such a wide range of what they're actually meant for because like I said, they'll start off using something or just pressing the buttons or seeing the lights and the music. This one lights up and 
and all that there's a cute little mirror here they can see themselves like all of those kinds of things but then as they get older and progress they you know on here will learn the names of the animals and the different colors and and all of these things that they wouldn't quite understand as young babies so i just feel like if you can get toys that are really versatile that work well when they're young but then they'll still enjoy when they're you know two years down the road i feel like that is money well spent and really really worth it so um, that was a really good toy for a boy. I'm sure Addison will enjoy it too, but if you need a boy option, this is a really good one. All right, Addison, you hanging in there, girl? It's just about time for her to go down for a nap, so I think she's like, Ugh. Oh, what's happening with your headband? All right, the last toy I want to talk about, I've talked about this before, is this adorable little unicorn. Um, this is also the Bright Starts brand addison got this for christmas this year and um it is so cute so there's two different settings here basically the first setting it stays still it sits there which is what she uses most of the time she'll sit now that she can kind of hold herself up a little bit better she'll sit in a bumbo or something like that i'll turn it on and the lights and the music she really enjoys that a lot and it's super cute. So it lights, like I said, the little main lights up. If you touch the horn, it does stuff too. And then it's got the shapes and the buttons and all of that. Then if you move it to the next setting here, it um, will literally gallop across the floor and it's so cute. So if you have a young baby that's crawling, they can chase after it and all of that. So I just think not only is it just absolutely adorable for a little girl, um, it's a really versatile toy. This is one of those that she loves right now and that she will be, I'm sure, playing with in a couple of years. Yeah. See, it's trying to gallop right now, but obviously it can't in the air. But you can see, like, she just loves it. Loves all the, like, lights and the music. It's so funny because it's like you just, I just keep saying this, but it's like you would think with young babies, you think, oh, they just chill, you know, they just need like little stuffed animals. But really, I think they enjoy the lights and the music and the, and the stimulation of it all, obviously. That's why they make toys like this. I just didn't know any better <laughs> as a first time mom. So the point of all of this is if you're registering or if you're about to have a baby shower, register for some toys. Otherwise, you're going to be going out and getting them when you realize your baby needs to be entertained and they're bored. So um, anyways, these are our favorite toys for young babies. Um, like I said, Addison is about to be six months old at the end of this month. Um, and these are the things that she's really loved and then obviously the things that Brody really loved. So, are you tired? So I think that is everything for this video. Like I said, I'm gonna link everything in the description or as many things as I can find. And uh, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and we will see you in the next one. You say bye. She's like, no, I'm just gonna slobber everywhere. And blow bubbles. Ah! You are so slobbery. <laughs>